Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we get to work on this Evo 10 today, I have some news, something to share with you guys. This is the very, very, very last time you guys are gonna see this car on the channel. We took a down payment on smoke probably about a week and a half ago now, and we've been holding it. The buyer is from California. They fly up here today, bright and early this morning to pick this car up and drive her back home to California, which is ironic because that's where the car came from. That's where he bought this car, is California, brought it up to Washington, made it nice and beautiful, fixed everything that's wrong with it, and now she's going back to California. So there's a little bit of things that we need to do on the car. Not really, we just need to clean it up. So I'm gonna give it a wash, give it a bath, put some tire shine on those crusty brown tires. I did notice that we never shined up this little cowl piece right here. So I'm gonna get that fixed up with some Cerakote trim coat. Really just finish the car off. All it needs is to be cleaned up and uh, she'll be on her way. So I'm kind of sad. It was a very, very, very fun project, but it's time to move on. Move on to other fun, exciting stuff. This car just sits, no point in having it. The first thing I'm gonna do is this trim piece right here. So let's grab some product. I think I got some. These are both headlight kits. Here we go. Cerakote trim coat, 10 large wipes. This stuff is freaking amazing. You guys have seen me use it a thousand times on the channel. I'll link it down below, or you can buy it at Walmart. Amazon or Walmart is pretty much where you get this stuff. There is the finished product. Looks absolutely amazing. We gotta wait about an hour for it to dry before we can get water on it. If you guys want to install this or use this product and you don't know how, when you open the box, there's a QR code right there. Scan that guy with your phone. It'll pull up a little instructional video because I know I didn't really show you guys too much details there. In the meantime, I'm gonna clean up the interior, get her nice, perfect, beautiful. And then whenever that stuff's dried, we can give the car a wash, throw some tire shine on. We should be good, we should be done. All right guys, she's all cleaned up, ready to go. Got some nice tire shine on there for the first time ever. I never really use tire shine, but it does make everything look a whole lot nicer. We pretty much did every single thing that we ever wanted to do with this car, except for like, I think there's one thing I wanted to do, and that was to retint all the windows. Slap some nice tint on the windshield. Front windows are a little bit scratched up, and all the rears are like a chrome reflective tint. Super weird, but we never got around to doing that, unfortunately. So that's pretty much the only thing we needed to do, but we ran out of time. Let's go sell this thing, boys. No recording me. No, 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 hear me out. This is your last opportunity to say goodbye to smoke. Okay. Honey, why are you scared? Do you know that every time you do this, people comment, Bobby looks better without makeup? <laughs> I think one person comments that. Me. Baby, Me. I'm busy.
it, boys. She's going bye-bye. No. <laughs> Goodbye, Evo. I'll miss ya. Sad. Sad boy. Time to go buy more cars. Now we have empty space. We need to fill a car. Or fill a space with the car. Comment below what you think we should get. I mean, we don't have to, but it's definitely the right thing to do, right? All right, let's knock out a few little things on this car real quick. We need two. Get it back up in the air. The inner side of this car is pretty nasty. So that's the first thing we're gonna work on is get it all cleaned up. We got the car all back together, bumpers back on, got all of the mesh back onto the bumper because it was falling off over the years. Engine bay is all cleaned up, top and bottom, made it absolutely beautiful. Got the air filter cleaned. Check out this bay. She's mint. We need to do something that I don't really want to do. As you guys saw this morning, this car had some pretty good trouble starting up. Um, I data logged it, sent everything over to the tuner. He said everything looked fine. So the car only, from what I remember, the car only has issues starting when it's on pump gas. If it's on E85, it's fine, which is really, really odd to me. But I'm gonna go ahead and do a compression test on it. There's not that many miles on this motor, so I'm hoping it's fine. But if we have low compression, that would definitely explain why we have starting issues. So let's go ahead and get that done. At the same time, I'm gonna slap in some new plugs. I'm gonna gap them, get them in the car, and we can go from there. So let's go ahead and pull the plugs, do a compression test. I really don't wanna do it. I've been putting this off for a while, just because I don't, if it's, if it's low compression, I don't wanna know. I do wanna know, but I don't wanna know, if that makes sense. I'd rather be something else. First number right out the gate was 90 PSI on cylinder number one. I immediately thought this motor's probably shot, needs needs a needs a little bit of a rebuild, even though we're at very low miles. But every other single cylinder is at the same exact PSI. All 90 PSI right across the board. I feel like every time I use this Harbor Freight compression tester, we always have low reading numbers. I think when we tested Bobby's STI, it was super low all across the board, kind of like this car is. So I don't really trust this thing. I'm gonna order up a nice one online and we can retest those numbers later. But if one cylinder was super low, I'd be concerned. If like one cylinder was 90 PSI and the rest were like 140, I'd be like, all right, it's time to pull this thing. But being that they're all, all the same, I would say this thing's healthy. And not to mention, we also have some pretty large cams in it. So that is gonna lower our compression numbers a little bit. Let's go ahead and slap some new plugs in. The old ones look fine, and we replaced those on the dyno. So I don't know how many miles ago that was, not that many miles ago, but um, I'm not really sure what else to do. So let's throw new plugs in and see if that helps at all.
is just go wide open throttle. Pedal all the way to the floor and then she'll fire up. Which I think when you do that, it turns off the injectors. But I understand. So it's almost like it's getting flooded or something. I don't freaking know. I'm about to just go put E85 in it and live with it. That we want to do today or that i want to do today on this car number one get that guy mounted we've had that carbon pod laying around so i'm gonna go ahead get that thing mounted up on the e-pillar and then we just gotta adjust our clutch free play i just want to get that dialed in so let's go ahead and do those two things and then we can go smack some more miles on this thing and be that much closer to letting her rip Adjusted. We got our ethanol content gauge mounted up there. Looks so much better than just chilling, so that's nice and clean. Let's go for a little cruise.